and welcome to another edition of Word Wednesday. I am Dana Lynette. Welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to take a little time, and I do expect this to be a short video, we'll see, um, to talk on the subject of in this world, but not of this world. Um, and I, I think that it now is a time that people, Christians, but not just Christians, but you know, my audience, my intended audience with Word Wednesday, most often is Christians, um, could use a little uh, positive reinforcement in the area of walking to the beat of a different drum. Because, you know, in, in politically charged times, such as we're living in, and it's not just politically charged, it's just charged. I mean, people are lit <laughs> in ways that are not so groovy, you know what I mean? Um, and there's like this mob mentality and this group think um, current going on. And when people don't join in with the mob or don't join in with the group, then a lot of times, you know, the mob or the group wants to crucify you. And so I'm here to offer a little positive uh, reinforcement that um, you're right on track <laughs> if you are not with the herd, okay? If you are walking to the beat of your own drum, walking to the beat of a different drum, then I submit to you that's that's exactly what you should be doing. You're, you're spot on, sister, brother, okay? So the scripture that I want to read, and this is, listen, this is a Hebrew Greek study Bible, and they are so great. I'm not going to be looking at any Hebrew or Greek today, but I really like this Bible. I've had it for years. Anyway, so I'm in John chapter 17. This notion that we, the body of Christ, are in the world, but we're not of the world, is um, throughout many scriptures. Um, you'll find it kind of heavy in the Gospel of John, those last few chapters. Um, John has 21 chapters. I'm looking at 17 right now, the um, scriptures that I'm going to read to you, but you'll find it not just in one verse, but throughout the verse, you'll see um, references to us not being of the world, coming out from among them and being separate. Um, and that's the way it should be, right? All right, so like I said, I'm reading John chapter 17. I'm going to start with 13 and read down. And now... And now, and this is in the red, Jesus is talking. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word. This is Jesus talking or praying to the Father. I have given them my word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. That's very plain right there in verse 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Verse 15, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. That's verse 16, now we're on 17. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And it gets, it's so good, I could read the whole thing. But, um, so that's our scripture reference in John chapter 17. Um, Jesus said, I am in the world, but I am not of the world. What is, it, what is the difference? What is the distinction uh, with those two, <laughs> two letter small words, in versus of? To be in is a matter of, um, it's a matter of physical location, okay, locality. We are present in the world. There's no doubt about that. We're not walking around saying, you can't see me. I'm not here. I'm not in, I'm not of the world. No, we're in it. We are here. You see me. Hey, see me? <laughs> I'm being silly, but 
but of uh, the distinction I would say has to do not so much with a physical locality as 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 it does with origin um, as a born-again Christian we are born of God our origin we're born we come we spring forth we are the seed of God and so when I travel to um, the Marshall Islands as a missionary I'm American I was in the Marshall Islands but I was of um, a, a different place completely which was um, America so so you guys get the point similarly or likewise we are in the world but we're not of it and so when I think about my time as a missionary and the Marshall Islands was great it's a great place so, so there's no negative connotation there let me be clear about that but there is a it's a different place their cultures are different their laws a lot of them are different their um, like I said, culture, just their overall way of life, their way of thinking and being and living is a lot different than um, the Western world and my home, America, and even more specifically, Kentucky. You know, I'm originally from Ohio, so you guys get the picture. There are differences. There are some similarities, but there are stark, there's a, a stark contrast in so many areas. And, and likewise, we as Christians are in the world but our culture, our way of thinking and being and doing and feeling and seeing is of a different place. Dana, what place are you talking about? The Twilight Zone? No. I'm talking about heaven is my home. Let me not sing because y'all not ready for that. But <laughs> you get the picture. And that being the case, everything about me can and should be different you understand what i'm saying so so when i'm in my workplace any workplace you know when you're in your workplace it's okay if you walk to the beat of a different drum if everyone else wants to tell uh dirty jokes or jokes that definitely compromise convictions um that a christian should have it's okay that i don't laugh i'm not trying to make you feel better about it by chuckling a little bit or smiling or you guys no i'm straight faced like you thought that was funny now i'm not saying you know throwing around harsh judgments at work i'm saying it's okay to not yield to the peer pressure or whatever kind of pressure of joining in with what the group is doing let's see other examples um po politics right now you know if, if if it is the case that everyone is uh, marching you have to be careful you know just because people say they're marching for a particular cause open your ears open your eyes open your heart and listen and see because the mob that same mob that cried crucify him that wanted Jesus crucified when Pilate repeatedly in interrogated Jesus and told the Jews multiple times I find no fault in this man uh, if you want to prosecute him, if you want to crucify him, do it according to your own laws. I don't find any fault in him. What wrong has he done? And what did they say? Crucify him. Give us Barabbas. Crucify Jesus. That mob crucified Jesus. Note, some of them were religious. But that's not the point. Um, so the point is, um, we're in the world. <laughs> we're not of the world. Therefore, we act different speak different, look different, because we are different, and that's okay. And so a lot of times there is a temptation that we may that we may or may not be aware of um, to kind of buckle under the pressure of conforming. Be not conformed to this world, the Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1, I believe, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We did start out in and of the world. But once you got born again, you were born again, born of God, born anew, no longer of this world, still in it, but not of it. And it's okay that your thoughts are different. So I was downtown today and I came across a lady that I don't personally, no, I'm not personally acquainted with her, but I know her and have spoken to her and I know professionally who she is. And we were chatting and I noticed that she made an assumption during the conversation that I was liberal, you know, and um, 
you know, I didn't straight up say I ain't liberal. I'm not, but I didn't say that, you know, but she did say something. And I just made a very direct statement. Well, you know, no, the mask thing, you know, she was, she was talking about the mask and, you know, using, um, expressing derogatory opinions maybe about, uh, those who are opposed to wearing them. Well, I'm not a mask wearer. I don't wear them. <laughs> okay. Right now I'm working from home because I prefer oxygen to recycled CO2 and that's okay. And there could be a lot of pressure. People look at you like you are doing the most. Oh my gosh. Da 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 da. No. Now you say, well, Dana, what does that have to do with religious opinions? Nothing. I'm just getting all over the place because my point is not just in the context of religion and Christianity. It's okay if you walk to the beat of your own drum. If you walk to the beat of a different drum and you're not going about with the mob, you're not going about with groupthink and not thinking on your own, you're not going about uh, following the Pied Piper, but you know, um, you're off on a different path. It's okay. And in, in the case of, of uh, Christians, many times it should be that way. So um, I gave that example of the lady downtown because a lot of times people will look at me and they'll see a younger, <laughs> yeah, I look younger than I am, <laughs> uh, African-American uh, woman and assume that I am of certain political uh, ideas, affiliations, or that I have certain ideas or positions that I don't. And so uh, it's, it's interesting when those assumptions are there. Uh, sometimes they can be good, sometimes they're bad whatever um my point is i don't get in the business of trying to conform or perform for anyone i am in this world but i am not of it i am i am different and so i'm okay with uh contradicting the expectations of whomever uh in the in the realm of spirituality in the realm of politics in the realm of whatever because I am in the world, but I'm not of the world, and that's okay. So I guess this word is more so about uh, not succumbing to the pressure. It's okay. Be different. Be unique. Be you, boo. It's okay. <laughs> I will be me, okay? And, and haters gonna hate, but we'll be great, and that's okay. So I just wanted to give a little encouragement to anyone who needed it, any validation, add a girl, add a boy. I think this is a time where people just need to hear it. It's okay not to conform, you good. <laughs> you are good, okay? So if I can pray with you um, about any specific needs, feel free to leave them in the comment section. If I can help you in any way, if you have questions, if you want a Word Wednesday on anything in particular, any subject in particular, let me know in the comment section if this helped you or if you agree with it, or if you liked it, or if you like my nice little new jacket even, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> It'll help me in the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned for the next Makeover Mondays and all the fun stuff I have coming up and the next Word Wednesday. And spoiler alert, I will be starting a Testimony Tuesday series where I share my testimonies uh, and I bring on friends who have different testimonies as well. I've got a mukbang planned with a set of twins. So that'll be fun. So you want to subscribe to get in on all this good content, right? Right. All right. In the meantime, remember, we're in this world. We're not of it. And that's okay. We good. Thanks for watching. Bye. We serve God around these parts. Uh, Alpha and Omega, he be finished before we start. Uh, the great I am, the one who let us know who we are. Uh, Christ the cardiologist created me a clean heart. Uh,